Hey y'all, welcome back. Springtime is officially here. That means we have been firing up the smoker lately. I've tried a couple new recipes and so I thought it'd be fun to put those in a video and share them with y'all today. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. So first up, we're having a recipe that I actually tried on Easter. It's a new hash brown casserole recipe to me. And so you start with a bag of the Simply Potatoes. I use the ones with the onions, and you're just gonna put those in a large mixing bowl. Next, you add one teaspoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Next, I added in about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, and I went ahead and stirred that around so those seasonings could kind of get all over that cheese and those potatoes. I also added a can of cream of chicken soup. I like to use the healthy request kind or the fat-free kind, but it really doesn't matter. And also one cup of sour cream. And again, we're just gonna mix everything together till it's nice and combined. Once everything is mixed up, I just place this in a 9 by 13 baking dish and I spread it out into an even layer. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil and this is going to bake at 350 for about 30 minutes. And after that, we're going to top it with something else and put it back into the oven. But first, just cover it 350, 30 minutes. And by the way, I'll have all my recipes linked or typed out below as always. After those 30 minutes, I just uncovered it and topped with about a cup to a cup and a half of cornflakes. You can do as many as you want. Y'all know how I feel about adding cornflakes and crunchy stuff to the tops of things. And then I just melted about three tablespoons of butter and just drizzled that all over the top. And this went back in the oven uncovered for about 10 minutes. And like I said, this is probably my favorite new hash brown casserole recipe. We took it for Easter and my whole family loved it. Hey y'all, I got you up in my cabinet. So we are grilling out tonight. Darren has some stuff on the smoker. And so I about called you McKenna. Hayden and I are gonna work on our dessert and we thought we'd show you how to make it. So this is a recipe I actually shared on my channel before, but it was one of the literally very first recipes I ever did on my channel. So it's super easy, but it's such a good dessert, especially for summer when you're going somewhere or just something really quick to throw together and easy to transport. Everybody loves it. So I just thought I would share it again. You ready to make it? Yeah. All right, so let me show you. So some of y'all can probably guess by the ingredients. All you're gonna need are some chocolate chip cookies like the Chips Ahoy or the Great Value, one tub of Cool Whip or Whip Topping. Now this is different. I have not ever tried this. I saw a couple recipes online that used a graham cracker crust. Normally we don't have a crust in this. We just use a casserole dish. So this will be interesting to try out this way. And then just a little bit of milk in a bowl. And you guys will see what we do with that in just a second. And I have a family size thing of cookies. You probably won't need this many. Maybe just about 10 or 11, maybe about 15 cookies total. Because you want a couple for the top for the garnish. And this literally takes about two minutes. I shouldn't even call this a recipe, but. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about it. But if you don't, you need to have it in your arsenal because it's so easy and so good. Okay. So what we're gonna do, let me get some cookies out real quick. And I don't know if I told you guys this in the first video I ever made of it, um, but we used to always have this dessert, especially if we had like any type of potluck function at church. This is what I remember my mama always making. 
just because it's so easy and so quick to throw together. So, it's kind of a little bit of nostalgia for me. Uh, I remember my mom making that too. You remember mom making it one time? Yeah. All right, so we have a few cookies out here. It's probably a little bit more than 15, but we're gonna start by taking our bowl of milk. I'm gonna scoot Hayden over here. And we're just gonna dunk the cookies one by one into the milk. Hayden, you can watch me. Just dump it in for just a few seconds. Drip off the excess. And then we're gonna put it down in the pie crust, okay? Dip it in there for a few seconds, get it all milky, and put it in the crust. All right, so we have one layer of cookies. It looks like a flower. It does look right. like a flower. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, now we're gonna take about one third of our little tub of whipped topping, and we're gonna spread that all on top of the cookies. And what's gonna happen over time, you do wanna let this sit, I would say at least for maybe an hour or two. The cookies, of course, are gonna get really soft and it's just like a cookies and cream. So I bet with the graham cracker crust, that'll be really good because this part's probably gonna stay a little bit crunchy. We'll find out. Oh my goodness, Hayden is recording. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add some Cool Whip. We have an extra tub in case. You gotta kinda do your own thing, ain't it right? Yeah. All right, we're just gonna spread them around. If I get to film, I'll do anything. You will? Yeah. Oh my goodness, why don't you make a cleaning video of cleaning your room? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no comment to that. <laughs> All right, you ready to do some more cookies? Yeah. All right, and then you're gonna make another layer right on top of the Cool Whip. It's kinda like cookies and cream lasagna. Yeah. Second layer of cookies, and we got the second layer of Cool Whip going on. So we are gonna make three layers, so we're gonna do the same thing one more time. Cookies, milk, on top of this one, and then we're gonna put some cookie crumbles on top and refrigerate it, and it'll be good to go in a few hours. And if you know, you know, here's the real perk about using a graham cracker crust. You got your dish and your lid all in one. And then when your pie's done, no dish to wash. Here is the grill master. Hello. Tell them what we're grilling. My we got pie. some chicken drums. We got some, ribs. what is it, pork short ribs. Mm -hmm. And then- Country style ribs, not short ribs, country, yeah, country style, style ribs. Yeah, country style ribs. And then we got a beautiful tray that he did. Hang on, let me turn it around. We're gonna do some grilled okra. We've been wanting to try that for a while, so you skewered them, and what'd you do, put salt and pepper? I salt and pepper, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil spray on them. Okay, and we got some stuffed mushrooms. Publix already had these made up. It was, they said shrimp, no, not shrimp, crab, crab, seasoning, crab seasoning and cheese, it's like so yeah, we're assuming it's like Old Bay. And then Hayden requested broccoli, so we have mm -hmm. some of that. So that's gonna be our little dinner. about to cut our pie, but this pie, instead of cutting in slices, because it's just basically whipped cream and cookie, it's not really gonna cut into perfect slices, so we're just gonna use a spoon and kinda dip down in there and get the crust too, so make sure you dip down pretty far. All right, we're plating up dessert. I just wanted to give final thoughts. So, I like the crust on the bottom, didn't y'all? Oh, yeah. crust. Yeah. But I was just thinking, Oreo but, crust next. Yes, I was just thinking it would be so good with Oreo crust and it would probably even be good with Oreos in it instead of chocolate chip. The chocolate chips are good, but imagine the Oreo pie crust with Oreos dipped in milk in the pie. That would be so chip. good. Oreo, chocolate chip, pecan sandwich. Darren, oh, okay. He said do Oreos, chocolate chips, and pecan sandies. 
So you can mix it all up and I think it'd be really, really good. So anyway, that's what it looks like when you plate it up. We didn't cut it with a knife, we just kind of scooped it out and it's delicious. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us as we did a little bit of cooking. This hash brown casserole was my favorite and you can't go wrong with a cookies and cream dessert. Probably one of my all-time favorite desserts. I hope to give these recipes a try. I hope you're all doing amazing and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.